Greetings and welcome once again to my new calculus channel. So in this video, I'm going to share a conversation I had with Bing just to show you how persecuted I am and how uh, evil and rotten the Church of Academia is, by the way, which is mainstream academics. They're all scum. They're all completely misguided and wrong, and they deserve to be treated with hostility and disrespect. So I asked Bing to uh, explain the holy grail of calculus. And this is a response. He says, it's a term he uses to refer to his historic geometric theorem, which he claims to have discovered from his new calculus. According to Gabriel, the HGT is a ge geometric identity that relates the area of a triangle to the area under a curve without using limits. That's, that's wrong, by the way. It's not the area, the triangle, area of any triangle uh, to a curve. So, um, I actually stopped the response because I specifically asked in my prompt that I don't want opinions or assertions. So I tell it, your first paragraph is incorrect. The HDD has nothing to do with the area of a triangle. Then this is its response. Thank you for your feedback. I'm sorry if my explanation was unclear or inaccurate. The HDT is a result derived from the new calculus, a novel formulation of calculus by John Gabriel. It states that for any differentiable function f of x and any point x, it doesn't state any differentiable function. It says for any smooth function x, okay, which means it is differentiable. But uh, differentiability comes from smoothness, not the other way around, as the morons of mainstream think. So then it states the theorem, and it has actually stated it correctly. If you divide by h, you'll see my original definition, and it says where this is the slope of the tangent and q of xh is the uh, difference between the slopes. So then it says, all accurately describes how to rearrange the equation and shows how you can get the area under a curve using the, and this is wrong, of course, because it would be the integration of f prime of x here, not f of x, okay? So it made a mistake here. And then he says, using the HGD, we can re rewrite this as, and of course, you still this would still have to be the derivative function here, as that. Okay, and it says, the formula shows that the area under the curve is equal to the product of the width of the interval and the arithmetic mean of the slope of the tangent line at A. And so it can be applied to other geometric problems, such as finding the volume, revolution, etc. The HGT is a powerful and elegant theorem that reveals the geometric nature of calculus in relationship between differentiable functions and their derivatives. I hope this clarifies the meaning and significance. And if you have any further questions, feel free to ask. So, I, I mean, I know already that this <laughs> tragic uh, chatbot has been pre-trained by morons of the mainstream and others who are actually uh, against me and conspire against me. Why do others then call him a crackpot, I ask? So it goes ahead and it says, is a self-proclaimed mathematician refuted many established results such as Gödel's incompleteness theorems? Absolutely. Uh, Gödel's incompleteness and completeness bullshit are not theorems. They're actually imaginary theorems. And I've actually proved them wrong. Cantor's diagonal argument is a miss argument. And of course, the concept of infinity is also garbage. So he also claims to have discovered a new calculus which he says is the only rigorous calculus in existence. Actually, there are two now. There's the new calculus and the one that's derived in terms of mainstream ideas, which is the historic geometric theorem or the HDT. However, his claims are not supported by peer-reviewed publications, blah, blah, blah. So I, I specifically asked it to leave that out because I'm not really interested in, in assertions and opinions and journals. And he often resorts to personal attacks, insults, and abusive language. Well, actually, that's only true when those uh, personal attacks are aimed at me and I get insulted and abusive language is directed at me. That's when I respond in kind. So that's entirely untrue um, because it paints a picture of me being the one that issues personal attacks and is uncivil. He has been banned from many online forums for his disruptive and offensive behavior. <laughs> He has been accused of plagiarism and dishonesty by several sources. Of course, both those, neither of these two links uh, show any of those claims. So 
Those are totally false. And then these are some of the reasons others call him a crackpot. Okay. And blah, blah, blah. So it carries on. And of course, uh, and then it says, John Gabriel seems to fit this description very well. That's uh, also a very biased and prejudiced uh, conclusion. So I find those claims impossible to believe. How can a crackpot discover something as powerful and elegant as the HDT? And then notice now how it starts going off on a tangent here. It says, uh, Gabriel claims this identity is a basis for a superior calculus etc etc and then he, he, without any facts whatsoever it just repeats the same drivel of what mainstream thinks however they've been met with strong criticism and rejection and they regard the work as flawed inconsistent and unoriginal uh, and yet none of them have uh, been able to show that it's wrong or not consistent or unoriginal <laughs> so gabriel's identity is not new actually it is new and uh, it's not a trivial consequence of the mean value theorem, which, by the way, is a well-known result in calculus. And it says Gabriel's new calculus is not rigorous, but based on vague and undefined notions of arithmetic means, geometric means, and parallel lines, which is also entirely false. And Gabriel's new calculus is not superior, but equivalent, equivalent or inferior to the conventional calculus in terms of power and ability, applicability. So this is some other asshole's opinion. And yet another asshole, Gabriel's new calculus is not consistent, blah, blah, blah. So therefore, it is not advisable to take Gabriel's claim seriously or to rely on this HGT. And then it concludes by his HGT is not powerful, or elegant, but a misguided and erroneous attempt to reinvent the wheel. So that's a total contradiction. And I tell it, you just contradict yourself. And it says, oh, I'm sorry if I confused you. <laughs> I did not mean to contradict myself. Could you please point out where I made? Okay, so I do that. I point out where it makes the uh, contradictions. And it says, mm, the statements you quoted are indeed contradictory. Um, so it's, uh, then it continues, uh, you know, and I, I'm trying to go off on some other topic, but I said, you made both those contradictory statements. How do you explain yourself? And it says, I apologize for any confusion. I did not make any contradictory statements. <laughs> All right. So, and then I said, just check your responses. You made those claims. So, and of course, I mean, the rest is just the chatbot being stubborn, argumentative and guilty of everything that it accuses me of. So, right. Very well, folks. I, uh, I just wanted to share that with you. Be very careful of what you read on the mainstream about me. Um, they're evil bastards. And uh, yes, I am insulting them because they are cretin. They are vile. They're scumbags. They're dishonest. They're incorrigibly stupid mainstream mathematics academics. All of them, by the way. There are no exceptions. They're all stupid. Okay. And I repeat that for you here so that you can be very careful when you uh, chat with these chatbots about anything they tell you, because most of it is usually uh, a half truth or just assertion and opinion. Well, that's pretty much it. If you're not already a subscriber, become one, click like, follow me on Academia. I'll put all the links there and uh, open, your, open your wallet and donate a few bucks because here I am sacrifice here i am i have sacrificed my entire life uh, spreading truth uh, and and i am up against the evil monster that is the church of mainstream academia this is not a conspiracy theory by the way and just search around the web and you'll see why not okay so that's pretty much it my name is john gabriel new calculus channel till next time goodbye